Yes. I think I have found my life purpose for being on this planet. And what is that? I'm supposed to be a terribly bad influence on every human being I come into contact with. And the dogs. <laughs> Ask Tubby what he ate for dinner last night. What's up, YouTube? I'm Rio, and I'm on a mission to go from a broke-ass, middle-aged, no-named artist to owning a seven-figure-year empire that revolves around my art. I'm hoping to get this done without having to have a boob job or a facelift, because it seems that in this industry, that a bikini body is the only way to get attention on social media, and that ship has sailed. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you along and share with you my progress. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the oh my god, I poop my pants. All without trying to sell you some overpriced how to make a living as an artist e-course that you don't even need. Before we start this video, I just have to tell you that I've lost 21.6 pounds in seven weeks and 57 and a half inches, bitches! That's a lot of inches. Seriously. That's like one of me. If one could only get so lucky. <laughs> have you ever done something so irresponsible as an adult that you couldn't even tell your parents what you did after you already did it? Meet Chris and Ashley. <laughs> so we met Rio on a random override. Some, sometimes you pick up a group of drunks that are really funny and I was on point that night. My comedy hour was really strong and they just happened to catch me in that zone. I wasn't so tired that I was like, I fucking hate drunk people. And I wasn't so early into it that I'm like, really, you people are already drunk? But I was like in the zone. We laughed for blocks and blocks and blocks. I told her we were headed to Miami Beach. Asked her if she'd be interested in giving us a ride down. And then they asked me if I would take them to their hotel the next day and I was like, yeah, got you, bro. She said, yeah, just. So I went and picked them up, took them to their hotel down at Miami Beach. We get to Miami Beach, we're on the way there and they're like, so. What do you do in Miami Beach? I'm like, uh, not get shot. We got to Miami Beach yesterday on, on a ride that she gave us. Upon arriving at our place of stay in Miami, she said, you know, you guys ought to just go to Key West. We ought to just take a, take a trip to Key West, go snorkeling. Have you ever been snorkeling? We were both like, no, never. He's like, oh yeah, it'd be great. Make a day of it, go snorkeling, have a great time. We thought about it. She said, call me, let me know. Text me what you're thinking about you might want to do. We decided we'd do some talking about it. Give her heads up, let her know. I was texting them that night and I'm like, you want to go? And, and Chris is like, yeah, I want to go, but Ashley didn't want to go. I'm like, tell her it's okay. And he's like, well, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to want to go or not. And I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, we text her later that evening, tell her that, all right, we're in, let's do this thing. Let's go. I get the text from him that he's like, okay, we're going. So I get on the horn and I book a trip immediately right then. I booked the trip so that no one could back out and say, we will be at your door 
at 7 a.m. Not not knowing exactly what to expect, she's like, okay, we, we need to be on the road at 7 a.m. She picked us up at 7 o'clock this morning. We headed out to Key West. I'm like a Jehovah's Witness for the ocean, okay? Like, I am knocking on your door going, you need to follow me. I am the way. I have the way. You see this book, How to Be a Scuba Diver? You need to read and study this book. I'm gonna introduce you to some things. Seriously. And then there's the golden sign that says Robbie's. We're like, hey, y'all want to go feed a tarpon? And they're like, yeah, why not? We're already in the car with two people we don't know. Let's go hang our faces over the edge and taunt a five foot long fish. Okay. I'm thinking this just gets better. These people have no fear at all. Let's do this. buckets of fish I realized oh shit we're still three hours from where we got to get on the boat and they will not wait for us and parking in Key West is a nightmare so we got back in the truck and whole ass south mmm that water though mmm those views though Wow Key West look there's a cock in the road <laughs> Did you know in Key West they let their cocks run wild? It is the truth. They're everywhere. There's cocks everywhere in Key West. <laughs> Did I mention that I've lost a bunch of weight? Oh, y'all have not even got a dose of me at my fighting weight. Just wait, because it's going to get worse. That's a promise. You should see. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> 
disclaimer here in case you have fast forwarded through this entire video because that's probably what I would do <laughs> the footage you're about to see is the fat reel okay I didn't I, I didn't start here and then eat to get to that I started there and didn't eat to get to this okay so do not be alarmed at how portly and rotund and for all of you people that are gonna come for me for saying that I'm talking about myself okay so I don't even want to hear zip it zip it so I had to live in that body for years I don't have to do that anymore because I figured it out science it took us quite a while to find a place to park and we paid to park for the whole day ran to the boat literally ran to the boat like it was pretty freaking close and uh, headed seven miles offshore to go take care of some business that sounds like we're dumping bodies in the water we did dump bodies in the water live bodies that came back to the boat live so you Fair know enough. it was fine Fair it was enough. all good it was all good
take it too far And now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land But I'm deep, deep down on the bottom of the well I don't belong, can't you tell? This place must be hell No more cookies in this jar Did I take it too far? Now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land After eating some dinner, first stop, Sloppy Joe's. Ashley's dad wanted her to have a drink at Sloppy Joe's, so that's exactly what we went and did. And I am telling you, I have found my people. That's how we met Rio, that's kind of how this thing got started. Got on a catamaran, went seven miles off the shore, snorkeled for the first time ever, got seen coral reef for the first time ever. That was amazing. Swim a live fish, it was amazing. Beautiful. And uh, we're not sorry that we, we took her up on the friend of all. So it was, uh, it worked out great. It was a great day, it's my, actually my last birthday, so it worked out really, really perfect. So we had a great time. So then we headed back. We didn't get home until like four o'clock in the morning. That's a lie. It was like, what? Two o'clock in the morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like 2 a.m. And then we had to drive another hour to get to our house. <laughs> and exhausted, yes, but totally cloud nine. I am certain that Chris and Ashley and, and Chase and I will be friends for the rest of our lives. Awesome people, cannot wait to see them again hope to get an opportunity to take them scuba diving at some point to further their love affair of the water. Y'all know I gotta paint something to commemorate this trip, right? I mean, that's part of the show. So, while the Atlantic Blue Tang schooling is my favorite thing to see, Ashley was in love with the parrotfish. So, I thought it would be fitting to paint one for you, Ashley. So, here you have it. Happy belated birthday, darling. I can't thank you guys enough for giving us a chance to take you snorkeling. It was the best day ever. We're super thankful we got to spend your birthday with you. This is your birthday gift from us. We're shipping it out to you as soon as it's dry enough to ship. And can't wait to see you guys again. As always, take only memories, leave only bubbles, and kill only time. Until next time, we'll see you on the reef.